In this quick YouTube video, I'm going to show you how you make your $35 Skyray King or Security King flashlight into a nice fully featured $100 to $200 LED flashlight. So I've got double click to high, memory mode for moonlight, 30%, 100%, back to moonlight. So you can keep it on moonlight all the time, or you can keep it on moonlight, double click at any point, boom gets you that bright light so you can walk down the street nice low bright light nobody's gonna really think that's high powered then if you need it boom double click something jumps out at the bush at you you can blind it instantly the skyray king is a beast but the normal driver doesn't give you that functionality you'll be like clicking like crazy you won't even know what you're doing but this is exactly how our flashlights should work and usually that costs you two hundred dollars this has turbo timer mode and it has low battery protection. It'll reduce its output automatically as the batteries decrease. And it'll never turn off the light on you. It'll never leave you in the dark. So after you add this to your flashlight, you can go to camping with it and trail walking. If it starts to decrease in battery power, it won't turn off on you. It'll keep running it. And that's exactly what you need to get out of the bush. That This is a proper flashlight. It's got turbo timer and everything. So these are the modes it gives you by adding that Q light driver with the Moppy Drive firmware. So I kept it on mode number 7, that's why I have Moonlight accessible right away. And then you hold it again, it gives you 30%, 100%, double click for 100%, and it's got memory so you can turn it off and go back to whatever percent you want. If you're always using 30% like this, you can always turn it off, go back to 30% all night long you can be at 30%, which is the proper brightness. If you're doing security walks, you're only gonna use 30%. And if someone jumps out to attack you, you can always double click to get 100%. Or if you're walking around indoors doing security checks, you can keep it on 30% to check into corners and stuff. Anytime you need it, boom, 100%. So whatever mode works best for you, if you only want 100%, while you're doing your security checks, go for that. And then if you go camping, you could easily program it to any one of these. You just click it eight times and then click however many times you want for mode 13, 14, whatever. It's very easy to use. And then also it's got turbo timer, which you can set up and you can set it up to, I think 20 minutes. It'll drop it down to 50% and that's pretty awesome. It's only $4.40 at Mountain Electronics, and the extra Moppy Drive just costs you a dollar. $5.40 with shipping. I don't know how much shipping to your location will be, but it's worth every penny because it turns this LED flashlight into a monster. So I'll, I'll show you quickly how to connect everything up as per this wiring diagram. All you got to do is connect your momentary switch to star four. The other side goes to negative. You can put it to the negative right here or right here because you've connected negative to this anyway. You just need to hook up negative and positive power. You're going to be constant power, never switched. You only switch the modes with this negative momentary side switch here. So that's all you need. And then the other connection, which is the gate, goes to your stock MOSFET and that just turns it on and off. You probably don't need this 2.2 mega ohm gate drawdown resistor, but I put those in just to make sure that it turns off in case this turns off for some reason. I've got additional MOSFETs in there to make this thing double powered, but if you don't choose to put those in, you won't need that. And I also have this normally closed bimetallic switch, mine's 90 degrees, and that's just a safety thing. If it gets too hot, that cuts off this one turns this off because it draws up down the gate and I've got it so that this 0.3 low power mode stays on see this uh, gate powers up this one and when this switch cuts out it doesn't affect this one at all I did that because I don't want the light to turn off when this gets too hot I want it to go down to a very low mode and that 0.3 ohm resistor should give you that through this stock MOSFET but typically people would probably want to modify your stock sky raking. So just find out which gate it is, cut the gate right here 
so the stock driver doesn't drive it ever and it probably won't even drive it anyways but just cut it just in case then you can actually solder on right here if you don't want to solder on the pin you can solder this right there and that'll power it up so now you've got this awesome driver with all the modes you could ever ask for turbo mode or I mean turbo timer you've got turbo with double tap just that's crazy bright and you can have moonlight just with a click and hold and then you just hold it down to jump into all the other modes and it'll keep cycling through the modes if you want moonlight you can have moonlight all night long and like I said you can get, have 100% Do double click turn it off it remembers that you're on high or turbo and it'll go back to that turbo sorry for blinding you there but that's the nature of this beast it's just crazy bright look at that blinds the camera instantly even in a fully lit room but that's moonlight and that gives you a better idea of how actually low it is this is a 42 watt cfl and look at that it doesn't look like anything so now you've got moonlight you can even look at that with your eyes almost without even damaging it or even hurting your eyes so that's 30 percent and that's 100 and at 100 you can see you don't even notice this lights on anymore so i'm filming this on the iphone 6 that's why it looks kind of weird but i think that shows you how well this thing works so there you go if you got any questions let me know otherwise this is exactly how you hook it up and or exactly how i hooked it up and it works quite well pretty awesome pretty happy with this quick mod it was easy to do cheap forty dollar us and you've got yourself fully featured turbo timered led monster flashlight so i'd be happy to go out camping with this thing because i know at moonlight mode or whenever the batteries go get low it's going to keep using that battery power and reducing the power constantly and just keep it on until I turn it off it won't turn off on me that's the way the flashlight should be it's reliable fully featured and works like a charm hope that quick video helps you guys out thanks for watching and leave any questions down in the comments check the description for the parts list and definitely look into getting a light like this and modifying it yourself it's pretty easy to do check out my other video I'll link to where I added the other driver to it and that should kind of show you where I connect things up and how it looks like inside. But there's no point in showing you that now because this quick uh, little diagram actually shows you how to hook everything up a lot better than opening it up and showing you the inside of it. It's pretty messy in there and you can't see much. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.